Welcome to the how-to video for the Rube Goldberg Acrobat Challenge Playset. In this video, we'll show you how to build and make your chain reaction work successfully. The Acrobat Challenge comes with everything you see here. Check your instruction sheet to ensure that you have everything. Choose a flat surface for your assembly location. First, put the short poles in the end of the base. Then, the long poles go in as shown. Now, snap on one of the gray pole braces at the top of each side to join the poles. Attach the wood brace under the tall poles underneath the gray brace. After that, insert the bent brace and add the flag pole. Then take the snake and slide him down the red tightrope to the black line. Once complete, carefully place the snake and tightrope across the gray braces. Take the seesaw ramp and place it on the seesaw base. Place the seesaw ramp alongside the base, just underneath the helping hand. Take the wagon and put the orange circus ball inside and place it on the end of the seesaw ramp as shown. Line up the yellow ramp so it meets with the seesaw ramp. Let's get this cannon fired up with the racket pole on the left side of the cannon. Load the acrobat rube figure into the cannon. Set up the flaming hoop. After that, take the monkey and place him on the red tightrope. Now lay him down to latch the monkey's hat feather to the flag. It is very important to ensure the braces and the hands are positioned correctly. The feather rests in between the middle brace grooves and the balance weights the monkey is holding sit right above the palm of the helping hand. Last thing we need to do is place the peanut bag onto the helping hand and we are loaded and ready to rock. An important thing to remember about inventing is that it doesn't always work right away. Just like real engineers and scientists, you'll need to do some experimenting to get your chain reaction just right. Let's do this. Let's see that in slow motion. Flick the basketball at the flagpole. Monkey goes across the tightrope, hits the snake, monkey comes back, hits the peanuts. Oh. Tinker time. Let's rotate the helping hand holding the bag of peanuts. That should do it. Reset. Let's do this. Basketball hits flagpole. Monkey hits the snake. Monkey comes back, hits the peanuts into the bucket. Wagon goes forward and oh! I thought this was it. Tinker time. Let's move the ramp a little closer to the seesaw. Perfect. Reset. Success. Challenge complete. So how does it work? Gravity and spring forces help to complete the chain reaction. Gravity is the invisible force that pulls everything down to the earth. It's also what makes the monkey roll down the tightrope and the peanuts fall downward. Spring forces are created when a spring is squeezed or compressed. Inside the cannon is a spring that is compressed by loading in the Rube Acrobat character. When the button is pushed, the spring is released and expands back to its original size and in turn pushes on the Rube Acrobat to send him launching into the air. And if you want to make an even crazier obstacle, combine the Acrobat Challenge with other sets to make even bigger, crazier, more elaborate challenges. Have fun and keep inventing. Oh, yeah.